Um, my question is probably uh, easily answered. Uh, <laughs> but it, it, if quantum fluctuations are able to actually produce universes, uh, even, that, even though that may be extremely improbable, um, is there ever a chance we might actually observe another universe being created? That's a, no, it's a really good question. People wonder if you, well, actually, it's one of the questions people worry about with the Large Hadron Collider. Maybe you'll create this universe. And uh, whether you can create baby universes in the laboratory is still an open question. There's lots of evidence that suggests you can't. You can't actually physically create the energy conditions necessary. But we don't know for sure. It's one of these open questions that people like me get paid to think about. But, but interestingly enough, and this is one of the wonderful things about general relativity, is if a baby universe, if a universe got created, an, an, an inflating universe like the one we think we, we began in, it's really weird. Because from the inside, it would look like it was growing exponentially. From the outside, it would look like it was shrinking to form a black hole. So, it's not so clear that we would know about that. Okay? Now, we do think, and the current picture of, of the best picture of, of cosmology involves something called inflation right now, and it suggests that our universe that we see is just part of a multiverse in which there are other regions where there may be universes just being created now. But because those regions are literally moving away from us faster than the speed of light, we will never know about them periodically. So it's not as if those inflating universes collide. As fast as they expand, the space is between them is expanding faster. And so, unfortunately, these are right now, in some sense, metaphysical pictures. And what we want to do is learn enough about the fundamental physics at places like the Large Hadron Collider to know if there are other observable implications that we can measure, just like we believed in atoms a long time before we saw atoms, because all the other implications agreed with experiment. So it may be that we never know about those other universes directly, but we have a theory that tells us, that explains the mass of the proton, the mass of the electron, but it also tells us that those other universes exist. We would be willing to accept them without seeing them. Okay? Thank you. Sure.